Hey, what's up everybody? It's Luke James, not the singer. If you're looking to get your music reviewed, you can hit up this email that's right here. But today I'm going to hit you up with my thoughts and opinions on this latest project from Earl Sweatshirt, and it is called Some Rap Songs. Now, Earl Sweatshirt is a rapper coming out of Los Angeles who made a lot of noise coming up in Odd Future, and even as a solo artist, he made even more noise with his projects Doris and I Don't Like Shit, I Don't Go Outside. Both of these projects received tons of critical acclaim, and myself, I thought they were pretty good, but Earl's just never been a personal favorite artist of mine. I certainly respect him as a spitter, but his overall sound and aesthetic isn't something that I come back to very often. In spite of that, I do find Earl to be a very interesting and intriguing rapper because he certainly knows how to put a lot of depth into his bars and give you something to pick at. And we also know that his father passed away earlier this year, so going into this project, I was really curious to see how we'd tie that in. As you listen through, you'll definitely pick up on that because the overall sound here is very messy, jumbly, sad, and depressing. And I do think this is going to be the type of project that people are very split in. You're getting that lo-fi sound where the mixing and mastering just sound awful, to be honest with you. It's made that way on purpose, so if you don't like that, aesthetic right away you're going to be turned off and even some of the beats get a bit abstract and experimental to go along with his flow that can be a little bit abstract and even off kilter at times as you listen through this you're definitely going to have to pick apart at what he's saying and i think the sound here could make that hard for some people to really get into i can understand people loving this because of how unique it is and because of the depth but i could also understand people just turning it off after a couple of songs and being like fuck this i don't want anything to do with it so i'm just saying that it's kind of jarring in spots it's not overly accessible that doesn't mean it's bad just just means it's going to be a divisive project so if there is one thing I like about it, I already brought it up, is that Earl has nice bars all over it, and I really do feel the emotion and the ideas that he's putting out there. I especially like on Azakar when he says, My cushion was a bosom on bad days, there's not a black woman I can't thank. I think that line is beautiful in its simplicity because it just shows you the respect and appreciation he has for black women who have been there for him. And he has another line on this track when he says, Live in life like a nigga put a price on my head. This ties in with the overall sadness and depression in here, because even though it feels like that bleak outlook is always there and looming he's still trying to live life to the fullest just like someone who knows that there's someone after them trying to kill them you got to be on point got to be careful you know what's going on but you still got to live your life and try to make the best of it so he is barring the fuck out of you on here can't take that away from him but again it's the overall sound that uh is really going to throw people off for example, the single Nowhere to Go, I really didn't like this beat at all. I thought it was very jumbly and messy, and even in headphones, it just felt like there was too much shit going on. Some people like that. Myself, I don't fuck with it. But he still has nice bars on here. Like when he says, I think I spent most of my life depressed. Only thing on my mind was death. Didn't know if my time was next. He really is going to be able to connect with people who are going through these same things, I think. If you're in a very gloomy, sad sort of state, I could understand you wanting to put this on and just vibe with it, kind of listen to it, because it's very clear that Earl is working through this pain and suffering through his music but some of the sounds here like i said i just can't fuck with so nowhere to go was easily a least favorite when i heard that single i immediately thought oh man what are we going to get with this Earl project? Then the other single, The Mint, I didn't like that one much better for the overall lo-fi sound, although there were some nice buyers on there. But my least favorite track by fire on this has got to be Paint It. It's basically Earl just rapping over like some static and all kinds of weird shit going on. I don't understand how anyone would actually go out of their way to listen to it, but hey, that's how music works. We all like different things. I'm just saying to me, this is the exact example of a song that I just think sounds really terrible pretty much all around. But even still, he's got a line on here where he says, Flashing through the pain, depression... This is not a phase. Picking out his grave couldn't help but feel out of place. Tons of bars. Can't take that away from Earl. That's the one thing I see a lot of people talking about. Even on Twitter when I was talking about how I wasn't loving this album, people were asking me if I appreciate and understand what he's getting at. And I definitely do, but it's just that overall sound that takes me out of it, man. It really is hard for me to get into it, so those couple of tracks with beats I don't like, right away I'm not coming back to them. The mixing and mastering on a bunch of these tracks, not going to come back to those. And you also get an instrumental on here called Riot that sounds pretty cool. It even samples one of Earl's uncles who apparently passed away, so you're getting that familial tribute and love and respect, but this isn't a song that I would still say is amazing and I would come back to. Cool instrumental. Then you get the song called Playing Possum, where it's just a bunch of vocal clips from Earl's mother and father. Beautiful moment. I understand how it ties into the album, but these are just a bunch of songs on a very short project that I'm not going to listen to or go out of my way to come back to, you know what I mean? Add to the fact that a lot of these songs are only a minute or two long, and to me it just kind of feels like a sloppy, jumbled mixtape, and I understand the intent. That's the thing a lot of people are saying, is that it's intentionally like this, so I understand and I can appreciate that. But even if you love this project, I think you could understand why people wouldn't, you know what I mean? Like I said, it's very very divisive. You can understand how the sound and style isn't for everybody, and that's the main thing that took me out of it. 
However, I will say another thing I kind of liked here are some of the productions. You're getting some very gritty and grimy sample based shit that's good on songs like The Benz, Azukar, Eclipse, and Veins. So there are things here that I appreciate. But as far as just the music of it, sonically, me wanting to listen to it, I do not fuck with this at all. So for me, this was a really hard one to rate because I don't think it's trash at all. I can understand what's happening and I get why people like it, but I also don't think it's great. So I don't want to give it a good rating either. So I am going to go with a 2.5 out of 5. It's certainly not average as far as uh, the ideas and the sound. Like that's all very experimental, but that's just kind of how I feel about it. Like there's a little bit I like, most of the shit I don't like. I don't want to give it a 2. That's what I'd give to it if I thought it was all out trash. Certainly don't think that because I see the value, but I can't lie here because I can only give you my opinion i don't want to say this is like a high score if i don't really like the actual music so hey it is what it is i hope this does spawn some interesting conversation because i know a lot of people love it i ain't trying to put you down or put this album down if you love it it is what it is but let's discuss it in the comment section let me know what you think and of course man make sure you do all that good youtube and social media stuff where you show me love and you show me lots of it thank you for watching everybody i will see you next time